What is up guys? Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another video. Today I got some arena gameplay for you now. Oops, I didn't mean to team kill that guy. Now fortunately this game is is about two to three minutes in already. And here's the reason why though. I don't want you guys to come at me. Don't blame me. Blame the people that always leave, man. Constantly leaving. Like, I could never get a good game in because there's always people leaving mid-map and, like, it really, really, really pisses me off. And I try to stay composed, but, hey, sometimes you just can't stay composed, you know what I mean? So, I've been, I've been, it started off 3v4 and I was, like, I was contemplating, should I do the video, should I not? I, I don't know, but luckily somebody joined, so now it's a 4v4, but these guys are taking forever to advance on the map. But this is, if you have, if you guys know, have no idea what Arena is, it's basically... Alright, what the fuck are these kids doing? Oh, there they are. So, if you have so, no idea, Arena's basically... If you ever played Halo, it's like a ranked playlist, and it's like a competitive playlist. And it's something I enjoy to play, um, especially for YouTube videos and just gameplay for you guys. It's something I enjoy doing, because it's a little bit more competitive, it's not as boring. You know, you're playing kids who are pretty decently good, so it's fun. It's fun to play. And I hope in the near future or in the next Call of Duty, they fix the system up. I think if they make it similar to Halo and they make it a little bit more competitive or they have rankings, but like by numbers maybe or something like that. Like just like exactly how it was in Halo, how it was literally perfect. Then I would love it even more. But unfortunately, it's not like that and the system is always down and there's always people leaving and everyone's just unhappy and it. it's, it's, just, it's awful to play. It really is. And... I enjoy playing it for the most part, but a lot of times, like, just mid-map, somebody would leave or something would happen, and it just, it would completely kill my vibe, and I'm pretty sure, you know, you don't, you don't want the players to be feeling that way. You, they, they have to fix it. I don't know exactly what they have to do right now, but, you know, they do have to fix it, and I get grenaded Kobe, killed by frag, oh, wow! <laughs> That looked like he had hacks on. What was that? What was that? What? He messes up his auto mantle and tosses a nade up and just lands on me. Wow. That that was incredible. That was literally incredible. But I am back with some arena. You know, just chilling, talking to you guys. You know, it's been it's been pretty slow, man. Call of Duty grind is a pretty slow. No teams have really been playing, so. Honestly, there's not much to play. Like, I think teams in about a week, I will say give it at least one more week, are going to start playing again, scrimming a little bit, you know, trying to kind of prepare yourself for MLG Orlando. But I don't think any team is really going to take it that serious. And I'm pretty sure you guys can agree with me. You know, it's a the game is almost dead. The biggest tournament passed already. And, you know, a lot of teams are waiting. A lot of people are waiting for the next game. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die. Nope, I'm not gonna die here because I'm so nice. Like ice. Oh, what the fuck? This kid's literally laying down. Oh, but back to what I was saying. Teams haven't really been practicing, so I haven't been really playing. And I mean, the only thing I could play is sometimes money eights, because sometimes money eights are going on, or I could play wagers. But then again, wagers get bored. I think wagers might be the funnest thing I could play right now. Like when it comes to streaming and just chilling. Uh, I will I will stream scrims whenever uh, we decide to scrim and whenever teams decide to scrim. Wait, what? Because of assisted suicide, I didn't get my wraith. All good. I got it here. I got it here, boys. And girls, of course. Can't you can't be sexist? You know there is sometimes. There's probably a couple girls who watch my videos. No, it's not only guys. But just dominating. Got the envy camo too. This is actually pretty sweet. I don't know if you guys saw it at the event. I mean, not everyone had it. Oh, I've. I have like a overlay on top of my seals like black six X. I put that there. It doesn't look too pretty. I was just trying something out. Forgot to take it off, I guess. But it is a pretty sweet camo. And like back to what I was saying. I don't know what teams are really gonna do. I don't know if teams are gonna break up. I think some teams might might make a roster change and I'm dead. I think some teams might make a roster change, but I'm not too sure on that. You guys will probably see within the next couple I guess next couple days, maybe in a week, what really goes down and if teams make a roster change or not. I feel like one team, one or two teams are going to make a change. But hey, you never know. I don't know, man. It's been weird. I think, like, like, I don't know. I felt like teams stuck together for too long thinking it was going to work. And I think they should have made a ro roster change a long time ago and they didn't. Which is nothing really wrong with that because obviously if you have a talented squad and you can work with it. But sometimes if things aren't clicking, things aren't clicking. Like, like... I don't know. I, I that's what I think, but 
I don't know. It's really, it's really, I'm really curious to see what people, what teams are going to change and what people are going to do. I don't know. What do you guys think down below? Man, write, write in the chat, man. Say, you know, I mean, not in the chat. I'm just not streaming. Write in the comments down below if you think any teams are going to make a roster change. I'm actually interested to see what you guys will say. I think a couple teams might, but you never know, right? You never know, man. I felt like teams should have made roster changes a long time ago, and they did it. So what makes it, What I mean, obviously, champs is over, so there's kind of a difference. But, you know, it should, it should be quite interesting to see how things go. And I, like I said, I haven't, we haven't really been playing much. I haven't been playing much. I got back from my cruise yesterday. Uh, it's going to be interesting if we're going to, when are we going to play? Who are we going to play? Like, how many teams are going to be playing? Uh, from what I heard, some teams not even, uh, might not even attend uh, MLG, UMG Orlando. Some teams might not even attend UMG Orlando. So, I really don't know what's going on. I think for the most part, most teams are. But for us, it's like... We're gonna go. We're not gonna take it. We're gonna go hard, obviously, once we're there. But like pre pre UMG Orlando, we're not gonna take it as serious. We're not gonna like practice our ass off. Like that was champs already. Like we we already we already put in our blood, sweat, and tears into that event. Now UMG Orlando, we're gonna practice, but nothing too crazy. And you know, we're just gonna go to tournament, try to best her to win. But if we don't win, like it's no big deal. Go into the next game and continue momentum and start going hard again. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Just some arena gameplay. Uh, sorry, it just it looks slow, man. Fucking three v fours, I hate it. But I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been your boy Abdi. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.